so when I was standing over there fishing a few minutes ago, catching a few fish, it's a great run and it's a great bucket. And so I want to explain a little bit about how I got over there and what I look for when I'm crossing over a piece of water to go and fish a specific portion of it. You know, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I walked all the way up and around. I stayed on the high rocks so that I wasn't walking in the middle of any of the pools or buckets that I was going to fish. And the reason I selected that spot is because there's what we call a bucket right here. It's a huge bucket and it comes at the end of the granite shelf on the drop-offs at the bottoms of the shoals. They're always there. It's geographic or geologically. That's how it's always going to be. When you find a shoal, there's always going to be a series of buckets at the bottom of it. And so I walked across the top of the shoal so I didn't disturb anything that I was going to fish and then walked myself down nice and easy and quiet kind of snuck right in there at my stealth 200 and whatever pounds that I am. But uh, snuck right in there, caught a couple of fish, and it's really easy to do. The biggest thing is just don't get in a big hurry. Don't just go charging off in there. We're all excited about going fishing. It's, it's a day off. It's a vacation day. It's a guide trip. It's whatever it is, but the, it's just got to slow down and not go so fast. And think about what you're doing look at the water read the water look for that green water the chattahoochee has got you can see it here i mean there there are portions of this water that are nice emerald green and other portions that look brown and the water's so clear that you can see the brown rocks and the moss growing on top of them those are the places you want to walk through and fish the green water and it's pretty much the same everywhere you go you're always looking for that deeper water those deeper buckets and deeper slots that you're fishing so a little more on the shoals when you when you stand at the bottom of the shoals and look up to the shoals there's there's a terminology that i use a lot called a tongue and i, and I say this to my clients I'm like, okay so fish this tongue fish the right side of the tongue or the left side of the tongue and they said what what in the hell are you talking about what's a tongue in a river so it, it's a terminology that my grandfather used to use 